Hi everybody, I'm Rebecca Kelly from Flat Living Magazine and I'm joined today by Toby Bowser, who's a partner at Hamilton Darcy, for a 10 minutes with interview. Thanks for joining me, Toby. It's really nice to see you. Yeah, you too. How are you? Yeah, good. Thank you. So we're going to jump straight in with this. So first of all, you, you're one of the partners at Hamilton Darcy. What does your role there involve? Yeah, um, yeah. Like I, like you said, um, I'm a partner at Hamilton Darcy. Um, so I'm based in our Birmingham office. Um, I head this office up. Um, so this generally means um, I'm the first port of call for um, our clients, both outside of London or if they've got properties outside of London. Perfect. That's brilliant. And what does your job involve then day to day? Um, day to day um, is a really nice mixture of um, hands on surveying work. Um, so this could be like contract administration, license to alter, um, real estate and cost assessments. Um, and mixed in with that is like the day to day running of the business. Um, I think as a firm, we like to sell ourselves as, as a partner led firm. Um, so this means that like myself and my other business partners, like we remain you know, hands on um, with our clients and, and actually doing instructions and getting out there um, for our clients. Oh, fantastic. And can you tell us about Hamilton Darcy and maybe provide an overview of some of the services that you provide? Yeah, so um, so we're a, char a firm of chartered building surveyors. Uh, we specialise in the residential block management sector uh, and we've been going since 2015. Um, I think, in fact, on Saturday it might be our sixth uh, anniversary. Um, Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> many happy returns. Um, yeah, so as I say, we're, we're chartered building surveyors. Um, so we do, you know, the full spectrum of building surveying work. So typically um, that can be contract administration, project management, um, plan maintenance, um, reinstatement, cost assessments, uh, party wall and neighbourly matters. So, yeah, the, the, the full uh, gambit there. Um, as as we talked about earlier, um, we're a partner-led firm. So there's me uh, and there's three other partners in the business. Uh, we've got offices in London and Birmingham. Um, and from those two offices, we cover the whole of um, England and Wales. So that sounds fantastic. You've got great coverage and you're really focused on the residential lease on market. That's as well. it, yeah. Yeah, that's our specialism. Yeah. Brilliant. So, within the next 12 months, what are you hoping to achieve at Hamilton Darcy? Um, so, really, we're hoping to grow um, a little further in the next 12 months. Um, we have plans to grow. Um, uh, in 2020 but um, we kind of took the view to revise those growth plans and just kind of have a year of consolidation um but that was really good for us like we, we we've laid some really good foundations um, as a business so um, as we emerge from from the pandemic we're looking you know really strong and in a great position to to grow um and when i talk about growth like um we're talking about like sustainable growth um we want to grow by getting the right personnel within the business who are going to embody like our culture and ethos um and you know we don't make any apologies look we are a niche practice um we like it that way and we know our clients use us because they like us that way too so we don't want to grow to a point where we lose that identity um or we grow too big that you know uh, myself and the other partners we can't be on the tools ourselves so to speak mm. it sounds like you've got all the foundations in place for that growth in the next as we've said 12 months where do you then see hamilton darcy in say four to five years time um, I see us on our continuing our, on our path um, of sustainable growth. Really, um, I think one area that um, I probably do envisage is, is maybe uh, more regional offices. Um, like I say, like you know, we cover the whole of England and Wales, and it tends to be from from Birmingham, which is a great place to be. You know, it's the middle of the country. Um, mm. It's pretty easy to get everywhere. But you know, we were getting more and more um, inquiries from um, clients who are based in in some of the more regional cities like manchester and leeds bristol um and you know it, it seems like a natural progression for us to to have bases up there so that we can be more face to face and have more contact with with our clients and, and help them even further yeah that completely makes sense doesn't it? it's being yeah. near and being able to provide them with even better services than you are yeah, already exactly so it's been really interesting to hear about Hamilton Darcy and as a company what you do but we're also keen to understand and get to know you a bit better so what keeps you motivated and enthusiastic? Yeah, this is an interesting question. And um, really, <laughs> it, it, I've kind of had to like reflect myself because um, it can be hard to, you know, you just, 
you just go through the motions sometimes, don't you? But um, I, but think about it. I have to say, my colleagues, um, you know, I've not I've known my business partners for for a long time, out inside and outside of the business, uh, and there's a real camaraderie between us. Um, sometimes it feels like we're all in it together, and, and I'm just I'm desperate to see us all succeed. Um, and also, like personally, as a building surveyor. Um, from my own experience, like you have to have a thirst for knowledge. Um, you know, it's such a wide ranging profession and, you know, different things can, can crop up all the time. So anytime there's a new instruction that requires me to delve deep into something new, whether it's an unusual defect that we haven't come across before or a new method of construction um, or, or something like a, an unusually worded uh, lease clause, then it piques my interest and um, I just want to get stuck into those kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah, no, I can completely understand that. It's about the yeah. stuff, the things that you don't know and then learning more about them. Exactly. And, yeah. yeah, expanding your knowledge. Yeah. So within your career, what's the most important lesson that you've learned? Um, good question. Uh, I think it has to be um, having the capacity to accept help from others. Um, I think early in my career um, as a graduate and, and working my way up, I, I saw asking for help as um, either in a, te in a technical capacity or in a support capacity I used to see that as a weakness really or a failure on my part um, I'd, I'd have to go off and do everything uh, myself and that put myself under, under extra undue pressure and it's just not constructive really um, so learning that help is not a weakness but it's a really smart strategy is really valuable um, and I think as I've developed myself um, and grown and progressed in my career um, I still need help uh, and also I, I make sure that I make myself available to those, to, to others who may need my help as well. No, that's good. It's a really interesting point because I think that exactly that's one of the things that we try and we see it maybe as a weakness initially. And then as we mm. move forwards, you start to realise that actually there are so many people who can help you and have the knowledge that you can then gain and understand as well. So yeah. thank you for that. So what's your proudest achievement? Um... I have to say probably I think taking the plunge and going self-employed um I'm lucky that I was joining you know an established business that, that Chris and Fiona had set up in Hamilton Darcy mm -hmm. however it was still a leap of faith um giving up a salary really um to to to, to go to self-employed um and at that point Hamilton Darcy was a very London focused business so mm -hmm. um me being up in Birmingham um I've essentially had to build our client base and um uh, in the regions from from very little um and it was tough and um <laughs> there's obviously there's always like a lag between um you know doing certain things and, and seeing results and um, it was hard to um, to stomach sometimes but um yeah it's all come good in the end yeah that sounds really good i can imagine it's quite a scary like you say to kind of go from one to the other and that in between period bit before you see the results mm, coming in exactly so, yeah. yeah it must be an exciting move so for yourself, what ambition would you still like to fulfil in your career? Uh, I think there's still a long way to go uh, with Hamilton Darcy. Um, you know, for, for me in the Birmingham office, you know, it's been, you know, two and a bit years really. Um, so there's still a long way to go. Uh, Hamilton Darcy's a business as a whole, you know, it's only six years old. So it's still, still fairly new um, in that respect. Um, so really it's just a case of keeping our head down and, and continuing what we're doing because um, we're on the right track. and. Um, yeah, it's been great so far. Perfect. And then within the property management sector, obviously that's what we all work in. What actually drives you crazy about this sector? Um, I bet there's this. A lot of people can uh, will agree with me on this one, but um, it's watching people um, take like short-sighted approaches to, to things. So um, you know, don't get me wrong. I I do understand budgetary constraints and you know, being a specialist within this area of property, you, you kind of have to, um, you know, have a full understanding of that. But um, so many instances where I see people going for the cheapest options rather than the best value options, and they're very different things. Um, and, you know, it always comes around to to um, to buy them again. And, and you know, you spend, end up with more hassle and spending more money in the long run. Um, but this isn't consigned to just the residential sector. I see this in the commercial sector as well. Um, and it could be it can be frustrating sometimes, but um, it, it's a hard thing to um, to communicate and um, to convince so many people when there's so many people involved in, in residential block management. Yeah, I can imagine that must be so frustrating, mm. especially as you're obviously giving them the options and then it really is down to them to make the choice. That's it. And, and, and we've, only, we've only got their best interest at heart as, as well, which um, 
it's, it's hard to take sometimes. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and then finally, when you're not working, what do you like doing? Uh, I'm pretty straightforward, to be honest. Um, yeah, when I'm not working, you'll probably find me out walking with my dog. Um, so, yeah, she's like two and a half now. And, um, again, Birmingham is a great place for exploring um, the, the countryside. We, we've got great parks here. Um, we're really close to the countryside. Um, I'm from Warwickshire originally, so um, I like to go back out there with, with her, with the dog and, and my wife and um, explore like, National Trust places or just go on long walks. Um, and then also my wife, um, she's got a small homewares business. Um, mm -hmm. So a lot of my weekends are spent helping her at craft fairs now that they're going again. Um, so it's obviously her, like her baby, but um, I do love getting involved in those kinds of things. It, it's great for meeting people and, um, you know, um, pretending I'm a salesman and uh, <laughs> there's normally some really good food stores and, and drinks um, stores at these kinds of things as well. So that, that's our reward for uh, for a hard day's work. Yeah, That sounds good. So uh, yeah. you're being the assistant and then having to meet around as well. Uh, exactly, yeah. She, she orders me around. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, it's been really good to speak to you today, Toby. Thank you. If people want to get in touch and find out more about Hamilton Darcy, how can they do that? Yeah, so um, our website is um, hamiltondarcy.com. Um, it's got loads of information on the services we offer. It's got profiles on myself and um, the other partners in the firm and, um, and some case studies there. Uh, you can also get in contact with me um, on toby at hamiltondarcy.com uh, if you want to get in contact directly. Um, and also we, we've got a specialist uh, Party Walls website, partywalls.london, um, if you've got anything that... Uh, relates to party wars or navy matters you can have a look there as well fantastic thank you we'll make sure all those links are listed below the video but thanks so much for your time today toby it's been really good to get to know you and hopefully we'll see you soon yeah you too thanks becky thank you bye